Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a Mecha Online build of the linebacker, specifically something that you don't see every single day, like the normal medium pulse build. This is actually a close range build, and if you can probably already guess here, we've got SRMs, specifically four SRM sixes, but that's not quite what else sets this build apart. One thing that you probably don't know, or some people might not know, is the linebacker has jump jack capability. You do see this with the two ERP build out there, of course, using utilizing the shoulders and the energy hard points. But most often, you don't see this in a SRM build. And the nice thing too, also, small hands, just notice those. Uh, another thing uh, about this is because you do have the um, arms and the SRMs mounted on the arms, you have a lot of flexibility of being able to aim and track faster targets, which is quite nice going after uh, some lights and or mediums. So let's go dive into the mech lab and then of course skill tree and then we'll showcase some gameplay shall we all right nothing too surprising about this i actually pick the linebacker prime s and that's because you get a 30 percent bonus to c bills you can pick any of them this in particular doesn't really matter um, and of course, uh, some bonuses here to the linebacker, most of you guys already know, is some substantial quirk bonuses uh, across the board. But for this particular build, we went with the D left and right arms that gives you the uh, hard points to be able to work with here. We also went with the H in the right torso. Now, you can go with the Bravo. And if you notice over here on the Bravo, you get a plus 20 to armor, which is massive. But in this particular build, we're going to drop that and we're going to go with the H that gives you plus eight. But what it also does is gives you three jump jets. Now, if you go with the H or if you go with the Bravo, I don't think you're going to go wrong. It's just it does take that maneuverability away that in some maps like Canyon Network, Hibernal, uh, Rubelite and so forth that are really advantageous to be able to jump down on target, engage. You won't have that. So pick and choose it's up to you you also notice we, we have other bonuses as well plus eight across the board plus eight structure bonuses this thing's pretty tanky uh four srm sixes with artemis and we've got uh, four tons of ammo now how you distribute this is really up to you i like the one ton in the ct because if i do lose the torso either or i still have at least a dedicated ton here and of course one or two on each torso you could split this half ton here half ton there that's really up to you it's really not a big deal. So let's go ahead and dive into the skill tree to showcase what skills I'm rocking out utilizing this build with simply SRM6s with Artemis. Okay, as we're going to be using this as basically a close range SRM build, which it is, there's really no reason, in my opinion, to invest in nodes that you don't need. Of course, don't need any laser, don't need any ballistic, but what you are going to need is the left side as far as missile. You're also going to be able to pick up a few velocity nodes. And again, most of the time, I don't think velocity is worth it, but in this case where we're dedicated to SRMs and of course being close range, I definitely think it's worth it considering you're not gonna use some of those points elsewhere. So as you can see here, we pretty much maxed out as far as the velocity nodes, except for actually one right here. There was a reason for that. We needed one more node and I'd rather sacrifice that than maybe heat gen, but of course that is up to you. 3% versus 0.6%, it's up to you. Moving on to survival, pretty much uh, almost all of my builds will have the left side here. And what does that do? That gives you the most armor per points that you can pick up. Generally speaking, I don't go for this armor over here. It's five point investment for point or 1.7% armor. Now in this case, because we're not utilizing as many points in other areas, I went ahead and dumped five points into this to maximize your armor as far as uh, we only have one more. And of course, it's definitely not worth another five points. Nothing in mobility. The linebacker is pretty mobile as is. Good XL, DXL, turn rate, torso twist speed, so forth and so on. Don't really need anything here. Jump jets, even though we have them, again, I never use this tree. It's a sad tree. Jump jet tree. Uh, operations, you can actually utilize. And you can see here, I've actually used this before, but that was in a different configuration. This build is quite good on heat. And of course, we're also gonna be rocking some cool shots just in case. So for right now, leave this blank. Sensors, as important as it is, radar deprivation, at least getting the, the two and three, and that's one, two, and three. In this case, it says four, but don't worry, that's over here. Anyways, point being, uh, you wanna invest in this. And what that does is when someone locks onto you and you move behind cover, they're gonna lose lock quicker. And you'll hear an audible chirp, unless you're playing your music really loud or in your engagement, you'll hear me often know when someone loses locks. That's what gives that away to me. 
Moving on to auxiliary. Now this is really gonna be up to you. I generally don't use airstrikes when it comes to close range build, builds. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rock with two um, UAVs and two cool shots. And that's mainly because when I am engaging, I wanna be able to pop UAV and then have that ability again. Information is ammunition, so forth and so on. And of course, as consumables go, pretty simple, uh, nothing crazy here. So let's go jump in to matches and showcase what this build is capable of and hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. Speaking of enjoying it, if you are enjoying this video, make sure to click that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. What other builds and so forth would you like to see showcased, 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 showcased on this channel? Let's do it. All right, as we begin here, the first thing I'm gonna do is hit O, override engage. A lot of people ask me why I do that. I'd rather overheat a little bit, take a little bit internal damage than shut down in front of everyone and die. Uh, weapon groups, left arm two, right arm two, pretty simple, and then chain fire in group three. Um, some things to know about the linebacker, and this is due to experience, is this mech is phenomenally uh, fast. It's 97.2 kph for heavy. Just keep in mind, don't push and be too aggressive because you can leave your teammates behind and find yourself overextended. So that in mind, we're gonna push here and hopefully take top here. Enemies are gonna approach from the right side and of course other side. We've got our assaults right behind me. Sometimes your team is going to go dungeon. If that happens, join them. Don't be alone by yourself up here. That'll just leave you sad panda. Generally speaking, taking the top here is best because of the rotation, generally what happens with uh, mechs. But we've got a Kodiak Spirit Bear. Looks like he is not long range, which is good. He's engaged. Let's uh, push up here and help out. Engaged with something or someone. Up oh, there I was a target, looked like a dragon. See, you just heard a chirp. That means I was locked onto and then someone lost lock. Someone's coming up on this side. Go ahead. Oh, we got another linebacker. A challenger has entered the arena. Ah, oh, again, not a build. A mech you see as often out there. I still think this is a fantastic mech, especially with its speed and maneuverability. We're gonna go with Pop UAV. He's also popped UAV. That is a Warhammer. His torso's open, CT's open. We're gonna go ahead and jump jet up here. Volley off, dive down. There we go. That was a good hit, that was a good hit. He's dead. And getting a lot of craziness going on with my sensors. That means ECMs acquired. abound. Okay, he's heavy peeps. I gotta get within 90, so he's not doing any damage. He knows it. I know it. Yeah, he's in bad trouble here. Okay. Mediums, I don't care. Whatever. I'm gonna take that torso. This is knowing thy enemy. Alright, he's out of place too, so we're gonna go ahead and push up here. Target spotted. I'm gonna utilize him for cover. Target destroyed. Nice, took him out, popping UAV. UAV activated. All right, let's go ahead and hop up target here. Target acquired. I saw some targets Fuel go this way. 25%. We're gonna go help out with our urban mech over here. New target acquired. He's got four targets on him, wow. Again, I've got some tonnage here. I've got some armor, might as well try to utilize it. I don't wanna give up my back too much though. All right, that's gonna be in his right torso. All right, he's down two. Arms off, that was my own fault, that's fine. Okay, drop back down. All right, it's like Delta's left leg. He's almost down. Oh, I didn't get it, I didn't get it. Didn't get it. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Wow, still didn't take him out. He's, he's doing a good job shielding. There he goes. He's finally down. All right. Looks like uh, the other linebacker is pushed up. All right. We're taking a lot of damage. We're still 6-5 here. My legs are crit. And that's where, again, you have to be very careful with overextending. We've got a quarantine over here. We're going to go help out. Heat hasn't been an issue. Griffin should probably turn around. It looks like he's possibly LRMs. Let's see if we can... Yeah, yeah, turn around, turn around, turn around, engage. All right, CT, left torso is open on him. Again, shield with our right. That damage transfer is always going to be beneficial. Oh, there goes my left arm. And I'm neutered. All right, well, I'll shield for you. There we go. 
can be I can be of use. There we go. Incoming missile. All right, here's Bravo. Same thing. Go out there, take some sh shots for my friendlies. I don't have jump jets. All right, he's focusing me. That's good. Critical. Torso is critical. Nice. Target destroyed. All right. Looks like we're 11 to 5. So obviously I was a little bit aggressive there trying to help out my light, but in general it worked out. May not be always the case, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and. Looks like we're in the zone. Nothing's there. So it might be a light TC. No, he's still out there. Let's see. I'm pretty beat up, so there's really no point in me being up here. I do oh, also have to worry about legging myself even off something like that. Well, this is the life. Sometimes you have to uh, sacrifice yourself. But as you can see, very maneuverable. Um, very efficient on heat as well we could like I said you could probably drop some of the heat nodes dial in some stuff but really where else would you put them you can put them of course in um, uh, more maneuverability if you want even though this is pretty agile as is it's got great great arm movement great velocity as far as oops, we got shots being fired from echo six. Oh, there it is wow it's a sun spider very very fresh very fresh Wow um, now, of course, there are negatives. Like I said, you do have to watch out for losing your arms. Um, you can use your torso. If you want to drop the jump jets, that will net you additional uh, armor points. And of course, Target I think destroyed. we had eight additional on the left torso versus 20 on the right. Of course, which one did we lose? We left the right, so it doesn't really matter in some cases. But very good game. Let's go to hop in one more, showcase this, maybe on a different map, and uh, go from there. 731 can't really complain too much about that also 631 a ton of tanking done as well all right again first override engage this is mining collective and skirmish so a little bit different um one thing obviously is stick together i think that's probably the best thing i can tell teams on this map um, we do have jump jets, so we have a little bit more maneuverability you can hop up to the middle uh, of course without having to go around, or at least we're about to test and see if we can. Um, this map obviously is usually, how can I say it? It can create some fun battles, but more often than not, it's rotato potato like normal. And that's generally speaking, because you don't have ramps here to be able to get up. So it basically funnels teams to go right or left, echo four, a delta four, and take center. Um, we're taking center, of course, we have UAVs. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, energy weapons to take down UAVs, so we have to be very careful of uh, of that. And we just got your, you. You just heard that okay. chirp. That was again my um, radar deprivation kicking off. We do have uh, two UAVs, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop it there. And we're about to get over in here. We're in a very bad spot again. As I was telling you, you can easily find yourself in a bad place. We're gonna go ahead and pop another UAV here. Get out of here. Sorry, bud. I gotta. I don't want to take any damage. Here. Oh, he just shut. He just shut down. He just shut down. Seen a lot of these eight Qs around. They tend to forget about how hot they can be. He's in a brawl with a SRM mech, and that's not good for his health. Ooh, we got another mech over there. Hello, buddy. And again, I just gotta be careful with my right arm there. Got him. Okay, and I've got the Zeus over there. Zeus is not loose. Ooh, ooh, hello. We're gonna go ahead and utilize these jump jets to the best of my ability here. Take the arms off uh, the rifleman two C's and they're pretty much useless. This guy's got a good build. Uh, ATMs, of course, or MRMs, sorry, not ATMs. Just take that arm off again. Shield, when someone shoots laser vomit at you, just rotate your torso. Just torso twist, you're gonna spread all that damage out. Right, they're gonna be sad panda. He's sad panda right now. We're gonna be aggressive right now. Push against that. It's 4-1 right now. Looks like they rotated wide and they've got these lights. I do have to be careful because I can't die really quick to that. That is a quarantine with the evil setup on it. So we're just going to back off there, maybe help out against this Arctic Cheetah. We have to be careful. Even though we've got the center, they can still basically... Right, 
back up. Uh, Bravo's right there. Oh, that was a good airstrike. Ooh, We're giving up the top. Why are we giving up the top? Don't give up the top. No. Oh, we just lost ammo. Well, I don't know why we gave up the top there. But what use can we be? We can tank. So there's that. Come on, guys. Press. I'll take the shots. Go ahead. Get in here. Get in here. Again, we're finding ourselves tanking, which is the purpose you can do. Sometimes you have to play the role. But like, uh, again, holding the top would have definitely been advantageous. We don't have to try to take it back. We still have a few guys up there, so that's good. Uh, Hell spawn with the MRMs. And I don't want to get in the way, per se. And we will die here if it touches that door, so. Nice, good kill. Two left, one target over an Echo 4. So you can see there are some detriments. Of course, both times we've lost our arms, but I think it's a really fun build, especially in 1v1s. A lot of people don't realize like uh, if you're gonna be doing Solaris or anything like that, uh, 1v1s are a solid in this, unless they know what they're doing. And in that case, it is what it is. But uh, 647, we tanked more than we did, but in general, I don't think it's a bad showcase for this particular build. Let's go ahead and see how this wraps up. Looks like we got a spider. He's the one who dropped that airstrike, and it looks like they're going Artillery strike. pulling. Oh, we had someone out of the fight this time, too. He could totally get a kill here, and he gets another kill. Not new spider. Of course, we got the quad goss build being showcased here. Very much a build you don't see very often, or at least you didn't in group play because of how, uh, well, niche a roll because it was very uh, squishy. But you can get away with things in solo matches. Ooh, advanced. Oh, wow. Whoa, what was going on there? Unzoom. There we go, buddy. Uh, spiders. Spider has seen the weakness. Go for legs. Pop the leg. No. Missed. Pull. All right, this shenanigans needs to end. Come on. Level. Come on. Is he back? Nope. We have an Orion that's not here. Oh, we lost a leg. It's over. GG. There we go. All right, guys. It's gonna go ahead and showcase this build. Now, of course, during both of those matches, I was being aggressive, right? I was in the middle of the fight. I lost arm arms on both fights, and that's probably the biggest drawback to this particular build. But in general, we've already seen the medium pulse builds out there. We've used them. We've abused them. We love them. They're all torso mount. You can do a lot of cool things. And of course, we'll all do a video on that one as well. But I just want to just sort of showcase a build with a chassis you don't see very often being used in this role, especially with the jump jets and the capabilities. Is it the best? No. Is it different? Yes. And so anyways, give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. And of course, like I said, uh, we will have more videos upcoming of more builds. So again, if you have ideas out there, make sure to share them via the comments down below or even hop on our Discord. I'll have a link in the description. Speaking of which, if you guys would like to help support the channel, make sure to click that like, subscribe button, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys would like to see more of this. And of course, we'll have more Mech 5 and Battletech content. Um, as far as MWO, I will be streaming this on Mondays. So if you guys would like to check us live at twitch.tv forward slash NGNGTV, I'll have a link in the description. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you again for all the support. And speaking of support, I'd like to give a quick shout out to all of our subs, our viewers, and of course our patrons. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you'd like more information on that, uh, we just did a cookie uh, giveaway. Me and the wife are baking cookies for one of our patrons who won the cookie drawing that we're doing every single month. It's a little bit of a, a thank you to someone out there uh, for supporting us here. So if you'd like to check that out, of course, I'll have a link in the description below. Thank you again, guys. Until next time.